everyone, I'm JC from Craft Life and I'm here today to teach you how to make a rain balloon bow on your monster tail. You can also make these on your rain balloon. So the monster tail not only makes amazing bracelets, but it also makes amazing charms. And if you'd like to see another charm tutorial on your monster tail, please check out my other video for the flower on the monster tail. But remember, you can make all of these with the rain balloon. So the supplies you will need to make this bow are one rain balloon or a monster tail, your rain balloon hook or a crochet hook, and rubber bands. Today I'm using dark blue and light blue. So please get your supplies and get ready for step one. This is step one. To make this bow, you're only going to need about 95 rubber bands. If you're going to be using your rain balloon, this is how you're going to set it up. You're going to start by taking out your middle piece. Then you're going to take out your big blue piece. And you're going to move it down to this side for more support. And now on this row, you're going to pull it up and turn it around so that the arrow is pointing away from you. And when I start on my monster tail, I'm going to go in a clockwise rotation. And you're going to start on this side of the loom. And you're going to go down to four pegs and go in a clockwise rotation. You're going to start on this peg. You're going to take your collar that you're using. And you're going to go around in a clockwise rotation. And you're just going to make X's on every two pegs and push them down as you go. Now, once they're all pushed down, this is going to be your bottom row and you're going to lay a top row. And go in a clockwise rotation laying your rubber bands. And don't push them down because this is your top row and you don't want to get it mixed up with your bottom row. Now we have a bottom row and a top row, and we're going to take our bottom loops over the top. And each peg will have two loops to take over. So just grab them, bring them over, grab them, bring them over. And remember, if you're doing this on your rain balloon, you're just going to do the same thing on those eight pegs. Now push them down and this row becomes our bottom row and we're going to lay another top row. So go around in a clockwise rotation again. Now we have a bottom row and a top row, and we're going to bring our bottom loops over the top. So grab your bottom two loops on each peg over the top, and push them down as you go. I just did two rows with you and you want to have 10 rows in total. So you're going to continue laying your rubber bands in a clockwise rotation, then bringing your bottom two loops over the top all the way around and push them down as you go. And you're going to do this for eight more rows. I'll be right back. I just finished my eight more rows and now I have 10 rows in total plus the X's. So really there's 11 rows. 
Now I'm going to hook it around and take it off my loop. So you're going to start on this peg where it has the red. You're going to grab your bottom loop and you're going to bring it to whatever side it goes to. Mine is going to this side, so I'm going to bring it to that peg like that. And I know that was my bottom loop because it hooked the loop behind it. Now I'm going to go to this peg. I'm going to take my bottom loop over the top and bring it to the peg next to it. And I know that was my bottom loop because it hooked the loops behind it. Now I'm going to do this for all of my pegs. And I'm going to go all the way around and make sure you check them every time. Now bring it to this peg. Now on this peg, you're going to stick your hook through it, through those two rubber bands. Grab a rubber band, pull this through, place it back on, and pull one loop through the other. So I just made a slip knot. Now you're going to help your loops off. Here should look like this when it first comes off. And what you want to do is take your fingers, stick them inside it, and stretch it out. And then have it roll a little bit. Just roll it over a little bit so it looks like the side right here. Now I'm going to show you how to finish off your bow. Now we're ready to make our bow. So for this loop right here, you can either leave it as a charm or you can leave it in the back to attach it to like a ring or something. So I'm going to put mine in the back to show you, but if you don't want yours in the back, you can just leave it and do the same thing that I'm going to show you. So if you want it in the back, you can stick it back there and just hold it. Grab the same color that you're using of a rubber band. I'm going to open it up. Make sure this is right in the middle. Then I can slide this on and try to find the center of your bow. Then wrap it once and check the back or the front of it to make sure it's centered. Then wrap it again and wrap it until your rubber band feels like it's about to break. And I got mine to four. If your loop starts coming out, you can always pull it back because we're going to add about four or five more rubber bands. I'm going to add five today. You can do as many as you'd like. So you're going to take your other color and you're just going to wrap it around. Wrap it around. And you're just going to wrap them all around until you cover your same color rubber band. You can wrap it around three or four times because you don't want it to break. And I'm just going to do one more. And you're done. This is what they look like when they're done and on. I added a clip to this one and I made this one a ring. But you can pretty much do whatever you want with them. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you make some, I'd love to see them. My Instagram is CraftLifeUSA, so please tag me in a photo. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, 
pin it on Pinterest, and subscribe right here on YouTube. I hope you're living a craft life just like me. Thanks for watching. Bye!